guys, so as some of you may or may not know, I recently went on a 10 day vacation to first LA and then Colorado. I was in Breckenridge. And so um, I got a lot, a lot of stuff while I was gone. And I'm gonna show you kind of everything, like all combined together of what I got when I was in California and then what I got when I was in Breckenridge. And the only stuff that I got in um, California was from Brandy Melville, shock. I just had to go while I was there. And then everything else is just from like random stores in Breckenridge. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I got from Brandy Melville is this printed dress and it's really really thin that's the only like downside to it um it's kind of see-through so i think i'm gonna have to buy a slip for it like any other brandy melville dress but it's like a really thin fabric so i think it's like great for the summertime as well so that's kind of like a pro in the con situation but um yeah it has these little sunflowers on it and i think this is such a cute print and i'm like really into ivory dresses lately even though i'm really pale um i can kind of rock like an ivory color but i can't really rock like pure white and so like free people dresses I was planning on getting just like a regular um, ivory one and then I was just like you know what those are like $80 I might as well just go to Brandy Melwell and look for one myself and so also correlating in with the ivory dress theme I got this and I am obsessed with it it's kind of like a mini dress like all of the other dresses from Brandy Melville they're super duper short so if you're really tall they might show your butt but I'm really short so it's fine um, <laughs> but yeah so it just looks like this and again I wanted to get a dress from free people but instead I got this one because I love the back and so it has like this cutout and it dips and then it has a cross um, like line in the back and I love this and I wear it with Hold on, I'll show you what I wore it with. <laughs> I wore it with their regular um, bralette. And then in the back, it's a multi-strap one. And I love these because I think they're just so cool. And they're just like interesting and they look really cool under dresses. And so with the cutout back in that last dress, I wore it with this so you could see like the little cutouts. And yeah, it was cute. So I love this too. And I've been loving skirts lately. So I got this little light blue pastel colored mini skirt. And I just think it's really flirty and cute for the summer especially. And I actually wore this in one of my vlogs from Breckenridge, but um, I got this shirt and it's a little crop tee and it's just gray and it says gnarly. And I just think this is super cute and it's like completely my style. And I love the font that this is in and just Brandy Melville really did it for me this time. They really did it. And I also Instagrammed a photo of me wearing this recently, but I got this maxi skirt as well. And it's just a floral design. It's like ivory colored slash grayish. But what I like about it a lot is that it has a slit and I've been looking for a maxi skirt that kind of shows a little bit of leg and so that's what this does and I love this. I love the way it fits and I love everything about it. And then next I got this little crop top and it's like library-ish white in the back and then it has these two sunflowers on it and I love like how it's brown on the neckline and I just think it's really cute and it's like faded and adorable and I just love crop tops. And then the last thing that I got from Brittany Melville is probably my favorite purchase of uh, my LA trip and it's like this little short kimono and so it looks like this and I don't know how well it's gonna be like picking up the shape of it really but if you don't know what a kimono is it's kind of just like a thin silky fabric and the longer ones are so gorgeous and I love them but I got a short one because um, I don't know I just think I can pull off a short one more but it has like these short sleeves on each side and it's black with a floral print and I think this is really really pretty for the summertime and I was just about to say that that's everything that I got in LA but I actually uh, got a album at at Starbucks and I wanted to show it to you guys because I think it's really rad and so it's the album cloud nine soul gets psychedelic and don't think that's like promoting drug use it's like it's such cool bands and all the songs are from like a really really long time ago and so this is what it says on the back Funk met flower power in the late 1960s, and soul would never be the same. The psychedelic soul era soared with inventive sounds that are at once earthy and spacey, in the groove and out of this world. It has songs from Diana Ross and the Supremes, um, Shuggy Otis, The Temptations, Jackson 5, and uh, Funkadelic, and just like a bunch of really old bands, and I thought this was so cool, and I saw it at Starbucks, not like a cool like record store or CD store or whatever, so I got it for myself, and I've already imported it to my iTunes library, and all the songs are so good, and I'm obsessed with it, so I figured I would show this to you, and definitely the album artwork is pretty cool too, and so this is what it looks like, and then it like unfolds, and it's so cool, I love it. <laughs> 
And so now I'm going to show you everything that I got in Colorado. And so I'm going to start off with Valley Girl Boutique. And I loved this store. It was like so my style. And it's in Breckenridge, like the town. So I'm going to show you the two things that I got there. So this first shirt that I got is Ivory once again. So it's one of those like kind of butterfly sleeved shirts. Like when you put your arms out, it's like, it looks like a box. Do you know what I mean? Like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's really flowy and like huge. Like you can see how huge it is, but it looks really pretty on. So basically it looks like this and then you have to wear like a little tank top underneath because it is see-through. And then the next thing I got, I'm like beyond stoked to show you guys, but um, okay, so I wore this in an Instagram photo. This is the prettiest dress I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It's probably my favorite thing in my wardrobe right now. But um, so it's fringy up here and it's tie-dye like aqua and navy blue and it's super duper long and it goes all the way down here. I showed it in my vlog that I uploaded. This is what I wore to Red Rocks when I went to a concert at Red Rocks Amphitheater with my family over the course of that vacation. That was like the highlight of the whole entire vacation. It was a really, really fun trip and I just loved that part of it because I love concerts and even if I was with my family, it was still so awesome. So I wore this. I bought this like solely for the concert. Like I saw it and I was like, oh, Yep, that's a Red Rocks dress and I'm getting it. This was like my favorite purchase ever and I just think it's so like perfect and the fabric is just so comfortable and it's like cotton and just, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then when I was shopping in town, I walked down the street a little bit and found this place called Skinny Winter Gifts and I got two like really small things. Um, first, I'm going to show you my earrings that I got. And so um, I also showed them in a vlog. They're these sterling silver dream catcher earrings and you guys know I'm obsessed with dream catchers. I currently have one, two, three, four, five on my ceiling and I bought two more in Colorado, which I will show you. But basically this is what they look like and I just think they're so pretty and they, they're gonna go with a lot too because they're silver. And then I also got this little keychain and it's just like a sun and I got this for uh, when I get car keys actually because you guys don't know this but I'm gonna be driving in like about a month. I'm already 16, my birthday was back in March but I waited a very very long time to get my permit and basically, long story short, um, I can't get my license until a year and a day after you get your permit and so I got my permit in um, August of last year and so, sorry if you hear my dogs, so I'm gonna get my license in August of this year but I have to do like driving lessons and everything so I'm probably not gonna get it until like late August or something. Anyways, I got this keychain for just when I get the car keys. I'm gonna get um, the car that my sister used to have, if you guys ever saw that, it's like a 1997 or 1999 tan Camry. It's really not that awesome, but I mean, it's a car, so I could care less. So I'm going to get that car in like late August, and my brother is just going to go back to school and not have a car because I need one, and he doesn't. I mean, he never really even uses it at school anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, next, I hope you guys are ready to see my stuff, which is probably like my favorite store on the whole trip, um, from Space cowboy and I talked about this in a vlog again and I was like I got so much stuff like I can't wait to show you my haul and so now you guys are finally seeing it and everything that I got I'm so obsessed with and so the first thing that I can, I'm gonna start off with is a poster and wow wow you can totally see what this is right no um, if you guys saw my room tour I really don't have a lot of wall space because I take up most of it by posters tapestries uh, random crap basically like you can see a bunch of the crap that I have on my walls uh, well it's not really crap Crap. it's like prize possessions but um so I got this poster but it's the Grateful Dead spiral uh, tie-dye dancing bears poster but I also got it in a shirt so this is what the poster looks like but I got it in a shirt as well so yeah if you're wondering what the poster looks like it looks exactly like similar to this but it's just like bigger but then I got this in a shirt and it's tie-dye and I love the colors that it's tie-dyed with and a bunch of my friends have this shirt and like they wear it all the time and I really just like wearing big t-shirts in the summer like over bathing suits or just like around my house like I told you guys I don't really wear pants around my house so this is definitely good for covering up my butt when my parents don't want to see me walking around with no pants on so this is like a, I got like a large so that it would be longer but I'm just so obsessed with this they had the raddest t-shirts ever like I can't even describe to you I got one for Nevin and one for Kaylee but I already gave it to them so I'm not going to show you them in the haul but um yeah they had like the coolest t-shirts ever so if you ever go to Breckenridge definitely go to Space Cowboy it's so sick I loved everything there and um yeah it was like completely my style and yeah <laughs> 
And then next I show these in a vlog as well. You know what, I'm just gonna tell you like to go check out my vlog channel and look at all of those vlogs because I showed like some of this stuff in my vlogs and I vlogged my whole entire trip, all 10 days of it. So if you wanna see that, then I'll definitely uh, link my vlog channel down below and I'm still uploading them like as I'm filming this. Like there's still like, I think like three that need to be uploaded. But yeah, so those are coming and a lot of them are already up. So definitely go check those out. But um, I got these pants and I wore these like during the day to Red Rocks before I changed into that dress for the concert. But I'm so obsessed with them and they're going to look super duper huge. Like look how huge they look on camera, but they're um, one size fits all. And so it's a drawstring up here and you can drawstring them in and they fit me fine. They're not like too big or anything, but they're these tie dye pants and they're super comfortable and long and ah, and I love them so much. And like, they just look like this and they're just like ugh, blue and brown and purple and just, I love them. <laughs> and I got so many compliments on them when I wore them and my mom was like, oh, I'm going to need to borrow those. And I was like, no, you're not. Next, I got a bandana. Ooh, what a shock, what a shock. Um, Y'all know that I love wearing bandanas as like headbands and tying them into a little bow thing. I have like a whole video from last summer on how I do it. But um, I had this red bandana and it was just my prized bandana. I wore it freaking everywhere. And I went to a pool party at like the beginning of the summer and I took it off to go like underwater and I left it there. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta find a new one. And so I found this one and I'm so in love with it just because, I mean, it's, ugh, just look at it. So it's a red bandana, right? But in it, it has, like, Grateful Dead dancing bears and, like, some yin-yangs in here and, like, peace signs. And then there's one really cool, oh, here. And then they have, like, the deadhead symbol, like, right here. And I just, I think this is so sick. It says, like, good old Grateful Dead in the middle in, like, this circle right here. You're not going to really be able to read it because it's folded. But I'm just really excited to wear this because it's my red bandana again, but now it's, like, even cooler and more advanced and awesome so I'm excited to wear this definitely and Space Cowboy had a bunch a bunch of panels full like you can flip through a bunch of stickers I got a whole ton of stickers and so I got all of them for Cassandra my laptop and she just loves her new makeover and I love her new makeover and some people like to keep their back books like clean and nice looking but I decided to just cover mine up with a bunch of stickers <laughs> and so that's what I did and I love the way that it looks now um, so I'm gonna show you like where I got them I got this one this one this one this one this one and this one all from Space Cowboy and then this one in the middle that says Breckenridge I got from a place called Shirt and Ernie's and it's just like a t-shirt shop but they had stickers like at the cash register so I got that one and so I just love the way that this looks um, I have like a sunflower with sunglasses on smiling, a sublime sticker, a peace sign sticker, one that says positive of course, um, my butterfly sticker it has like a moon on this side and a sun on this side and like a goddess in the middle and then a Jimi Hendrix sticker right here with like three of his heads and I just think that this looks so cool and I'm like so excited with the way that Cassandra looks now and I think she looks beautiful and you guys can comment saying if she's sexy or not like she already knows that she is but she would like appreciate the comments you know like the compliments I mean she already gets some from me every day because she's just really hot but um, yeah so I love her little makeover and so that's where I got all of these stickers and also when I got what did I get I think I got like six stickers from Space Cowboy she gave me two extra ones like for free and so I'm gonna show you those ones but they're really not that cool I mean I like this one it's, it says Breck and I think I might put this on uh, my car when I get it but and then this one just says Space Cowboy Breckenridge Colorado and they just like didn't fit on here <laughs> like I couldn't stop <sighs> like I didn't have any space for them so I just put them in my bag and I haven't found anywhere for them yet but yeah so I got these ones too <laughs> and then the last thing that I got for myself at Space Cowboy were these socks and again with the <laughs> Grateful Dead dancing bears um, this is what they look like they just have the bears nothing really to see here but I'm just really excited to wear them because I don't know I think these socks are really cool so yeah <laughs> And then I got one necklace at this place called Breckenridge Jeweler and it's actually one of my like regular cord necklaces but I switched it up with the cord color um, so it's this really pretty 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 uh, watercolored peace sign 
and I just love like the de design of it. They're all made from clay and then you just like buy a cord with it and this was only 10 bucks um, like cord and charm. I know I have a lot of stuff guys. I'm sorry if this is like the longest haul ever. I just got a crap ton of stuff that I wanted to show you. So when we went to Red Rocks there was like a little trading post which is just like a souvenir shop kind of um, and so I went in and I got two things and so I'm going to show them to you and yeah this is called Park Trading Post at Red Rocks. So if you ever go to Red Rocks, check out their trading post because it's really cool. But the first thing that I got is this little booklet and it says keep a positive attitude and they just had these like up near the cash register and every page just has like an inspiring little um, like note thing. So I don't know, maybe I'll read, I'll like read this every day before I go to bed or like every time I wake up, something like that. I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited too. And so I'm going to keep this like next to my bed or something. And then, like I said, with my obsession with dream catchers, I of course had to get some dream catchers because they had the coolest ones like everywhere in Breckenridge. So if you collect them like me and you're going to Breckenridge, like look out for some. So I got this one at Red Rocks to kind of like as a souvenir to remember my time there but it looks like this and it's like 100% uh, Native American and I love it and so it has like these beatings and a cross formation and then the feathers and I just think this is really cool and I'm gonna hang out my ceiling like all other five of my dream catchers and then I just got one thing at this little like cool shop I think it's called fun versus awesome if I'm looking at the right receipt but um, so I got like, I don't know if people in your town wear these, but a lot of people in my town wear these and they're mystic tees and I love them. So I got this mystic tee and it has uh, wolves on it and I think it's so cool. And so it's like light blue and then it has like the moon up here. Um, at least I think that's the moon, is it? Yeah. It's like one wolf howling into the moon right here and then one wolf right there. And at first I thought they were polar bears, but now I'm guessing that they're not. Um, yeah, and it just has like trees on it. I've been wanting one of these for a while, so I finally got one for myself. And again, I got this in a large so I could wear it as kind of more like, not like a dress, but you know, like with leggings and stuff, like in the fall or something or when it gets colder. And then at this place called Breckenridge Hat Company, I did not get a hat. I got a bag. And so I'm going to zip this up and show it to you guys. Hold on. Okay, I got this backpack kind of for traveling and maybe for school if it's big enough. I'm really not sure if it's going to be. Um, I fit my laptop in here on the way home, so I'm hoping that it's going to be big enough uh, to fit my books in it, but maybe not. But I just love like the design of it, and uh, so it looks like this. It has a little front pocket, and then it unzips up here, and then it just looks like this, and that's what the straps look like. And so I got this with a durable zipper and like buttons, and just, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, and I like this. Okay, and finally coming to the end of our haul, um, I went to a place called Santa Fe Trade Post. And I got two things while I was there. And so the first thing, I'm gonna show you like the bulkiest of them all. This is what I got. And so it's a uh, Native American blanket and it looks like this and it has like fringes on the bottom and these are handmade and like woven and I just think they're so cool. And so this is what it looks like. It's purple and I'm just going to put this on my bed because I love like this kind of material-ish and just the look of them and I think it'll go with my room nicely. And my walls are like lavender so I figured I would get the purple one. But yeah, I love this. And it was only $12. $12! Like that's so cool. And then the last and final thing that I'm going to show you is my second dream catcher that I got. And I also got this for my car. And so I'm going to put this hanging from the uh, mirror. And so it's this beautiful, I'd, I've never owned such a pretty dream catcher. It's this beautiful light blue color. It has like a little bead right here and then this little rock right here. And I just think that's really cool. And then the feathers are white. And so I got this for the car and I think it's really pretty. And once again, that is everything that I got while I was on my trip from stickers to clothes to Brandy Melville to uh, like random t-shirt shops. Um, I hope you guys liked this haul. I know it was kind of not like a regular uh, clothing haul. There was some random stuff in there too. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say I'm a big lug and I forced Megan to let me in. Oh, bye. Mm -hmm.